Hey there, good morning. It's good to see you. I miss seeing you guys. And I really miss eating those donuts. How about you? I've been praying for you and your families and I hope that you have been fun, doing fun things and spending quality time with your family together. It sure makes me appreciate our times that we've had together on Sunday mornings playing with all of our friends and doing art projects. And um, we will have those again soon. So we're going to start today with prayer really quick. So bow your heads in prayer. Jesus, we thank you for loving us. We thank you that you are always with us and that you protect us and that you guide us. And we thank you for your word that um, helps us to live more like you. Amen. All right, so first we're gonna get our Bibles out like this, like we do with Miss Carolyn. And we're going to read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. All right. Okay, well, let's get started. We are going to color a picture today, and we're going to kind of talk about our lesson that we talked about last week. Okay? So in our God, big God story last week, we learned about how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Do you remember what he told his friends? He told his friends to go into town and get a donkey. And they obeyed him. Do you know what obey means? Yes, it means to follow what has been asked of you. Like us, we have been asked to not gather with lots of people. And we are obeying that so that we all stay healthy. And sometimes we're asked to do things that we don't understand why we've been asked to do them, but we need to obey. And sometimes we don't like it that we've been asked to do something by a parent or someone of authority, but we have to obey. It is important for us to do that. All right. All right. So let's get started. Um, we are going to get our picture out. Let's see, let me get that out. Here we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the color brown and we're gonna color Jesus's hair first. And we're gonna have to try our best to stay in the lines. And the closer you are to the lines, the slower you wanna go. Kind of like obeying. When we color, we want to go next to the lines, we want to go really slow. But then when we get away from the lines, we can go a little bit faster. And obeying, sometimes we have to slow down and do not what we want, but what has been asked of us. So we're going to go ahead and color Jesus' beard. And the thing above his lip is called a mustache. Can you say mustache? Mustache. So we're gonna color all of that, all right? And while we're coloring, I'm just gonna kinda talk to you about a couple things. Do you always follow what your parents ask? For instance, if your parents ask you to make your bed, do you go do it right away? We should. Can you imagine if Jesus asked his disciples and they did not go get the donkey? You wouldn't have this story today. All right, so I'm going to let you color that, and I'm going to let you press stop until you catch up, okay? And I want to see when it's all colored, okay? So we're coloring the hair and the beard, okay? Go ahead and press stop. All right. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the purple color, which is right here the purple color. I'm using colored pencils. And we are going to color Jesus's clothes purple. Okay. And same thing. We're going to go really slow when we're next to the lines. And you can kind of color in circles or up and down, which is easier. 
I like to color, if I'm coloring next to a line, color the same way that line goes and then kind of color back into it. So this is his clothing right here. And we're gonna, we're not gonna color this right now, just his clothes here and here, purple, okay? All right, and I'll just kind of talk while we're coloring this. I don't ever, I don't know if Jesus ever wore purple, but in Jesus's time, purple was very hard to get and only the kings wore purple. So we're gonna go ahead and color him purple because Jesus is our king and he is a great, good God. All right, so I'm gonna let you push stop so you can catch up with me, okay? All right. All right, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get brown and we're gonna color the donkey brown. So the same color as Jesus's hair, we're going to color that and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stay within the lines and go really nice and slow. Okay. And we're going to color all of that. The people of Jerusalem were so excited to see Jesus that they wanted him to be their king. And they threw their, their coats and palms down in the road because they were excited and they wanted Jesus to be king. I'm still coloring. Are you still coloring? All right. This is my my donkey and Jesus so far that we have colored, okay? So I'm going to press stop. And you can wait. And you can catch up, okay? All right, now we're gonna get the color red out. This is red. And we're gonna color the coat that Jesus is sitting on and his kind of like a sash around his neck. Okay, so it's gonna look like that, all right? When Jesus rode by, do you remember what they said to him? Hosanna, that's right. Can you say Hosanna, Hosanna? That's right. The people wanted a king and they wanted Jesus to be their king. All right. So you can continue to color that and I'm going to let you stop until you catch up. I'm going to continue to color mine here. All right. So mine is red. All right. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add grass and palm leaves. Okay, and I kind of did this right here where I put a little bit of grass on the bottom and then I drew a line kind of like this, kind of like palms. See like this line right here? And then I drew palm leaves coming down. All right. So then there's palms for Palm Sunday. Okay? All right, so why don't you just continue coloring that? And um, until you're finished, and then you can show it to your parents and you can tell them that Jesus' friends obeyed him when they said to go ahead and get, when he asked them to go into Jerusalem and get a donkey and that you want to obey your parents because that's the right thing to do. All right. I hope to see you soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.